everyone happy new year so on this video this is more of like a chit chat because i will just share to you my top 10 highlights and thanksgiving from the year 2020 i know it's already first week of january but then of course i cannot go through my next videos without saying or without telling you the 10 highlights of my year 2020 and of course it includes what are the things that I'm thankful from last And I already write it here on my notebook because I don't want to forget anything here. This is actually in random order. So the first one, I'm very thankful for the rest that I have. So last year, March 2020, when COVID came here in Alberta, we were temporarily laid off. And actually that laid off started March, middle of March, and it was continuous. So I was given a lot of time the really rest and to do what I want so that's the first highlight that I really enjoy from last year I was able to read a lot of books ebooks hard copy books I also I was able to listen to a lot of podcasts I was able to binge watch a lot of um, movies TV shows and of course I'm promoting here that Chosen is a nice Christian um, TV show that I I want you to check it out so First thing that I'm really thankful and highlight from last year is the rest that I was given to and to do what I really want to do. So that's the number one. Next is second highlight is I was able to spend more time with my family, not only physically because I was here at home since March up to December. I was able to spend more time on also via online and because of the uh, pandemic I, my family in the Philippines and all around the world were meeting via Zoom every weekend and of course almost every day we call via video call so it's it's nice it, it gave us opportunity to spend more time with my third family. one is I'm very thankful for the different ministry opportunities so this year I was able to reach out to different people and we have different uh, I had a different group of people with the Bible study ministries and of course because of pandemic a lot of people are asking for prayer so I thank the Lord for those opportunities for the Bible study opportunities and for the prayer um, ministering to other people. And the fourth highlight from last year is we were able to go on hikes and explore nature. So last year we went to different places. Actually I think last year we were able to go to more places than previous years combined. We were able to go hiking on Troll Falls, on grassy lakes, and one of my proudest moments is the Lake Agnes. I mean it's for some people, it might be very easy for them, but for like Agnes Tea House, it was a little bit hard. It took us about two and a half hours going there, but it was worth the hike. The place there is very beautiful. The hike, you will see a lot of beautiful places going up there. And we were, I was able, I think I was able to get like 13,000 steps on that day. So. It was really a good exercise and at the same time enjoying God's nature and God's creation. So last year, not only hikes, we were able to go to Jasper, enjoy my, our stay there. I think we stayed there for about three days and two nights, which is really wonderful. We were able to appreciate different kinds of nature there. And at, other than Jasper, we also spent uh, one week in Canmore during my birthday week. So it's really nice. It's really amazing time to go explore the nature while uh, during pandemic time. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's pandemic, but I'm thankful for the opportunity to go out and explore the nature. The fifth highlight is prayers are still answered. So I will not be saying here a lot of uh, the prayer examples, but I thank the Lord because I know He's still answering our prayers. We prayed a lot of prayers last year and the Lord really answered it. And number six, babies are still getting born. Last year, I know a lot of my friends who had a baby, which is actually a blessing and gave me so much joy to see babies are still being born last year. 
and seven it's connected to the baby people are still getting married I know a lot of my friends do who got married last year which is I'm very happy personally for them because they it's like a step of faith like it's pandemic time but still they choose this this step to be to get married to be with a person that they love so it's really amazing and number eight is celebration did not stop last year so last year Emma celebrated her fifth birthday me and my husband celebrated our 34th birthday and also our anniversary last year we celebrated it eight year. although the celebration is a little bit different than the previous one but still thankful for the Lord for it the celebration did not stop the ninth one is God's continued protection for all of us and also good health. So last year, Emma started at kindergarten. She's going to school three times a week. And it's still by God's grace and by God's mercy that Emma was still protected. Nothing really bad happened, even though we were able to... Um, what's this? We had some of our family members were a little bit exposed to COVID, but it was really by God's grace that uh, we were protected from it. And at the same time, my husband, his other line of work, um, God still protected him because he's working at the airport and God is still good that he preserved him last year. And last but not the least is I'm still alive. I'm still here making videos in front of you. So my life, it's, I cannot be more thankful because of this my life. And I'm just thankful for the Lord because I'm still here alive, even though I'm, I have some of my, some of my issues physically, but the Lord has been good. The Lord is faithful. And it's only by His mercy and grace that I am here to make this video. So that is my top 10 highlights slash Thanksgiving in the year 2020. I know 2020 is a bit crazy year. A lot of people are complaining that they hope it will be gone. But then if you will really think about, stop, think for a few moments, and just really reflect on the things that happened last year, you will really find some, th some things to be thankful for. So this 2021, I don't know, uh, Emma is here. You want to say hi? Hi! Yeah, so this year 2021, we don't know what this will bring. But one thing that we can be sure of is God is still there. God is in control and God is still on the throne. Just trust Him. Find time with Him. Have a closer walk with Him, you know? It's only by Him, it's only by God that we were able to surpass 2020. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and happy, happy new year. new year. Have a blessed new year. We hope and we pray that this year will be a better for all of us. So, bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.